Good morning everyone! Happy Friday sa inyo! Welcome to the Daily Grind where we discuss the market every day and we study the market together. Yan. Um, let me see. Let me just double check everything para ma-sure ko na uh, everything is doing good. I hope you can hear me properly. Good morning. Yes, good morning to my daughter Laika. Thank you din sa mga nag-greet. I told her about that and she's very happy that she's being greeted too. Uh, Vance Gomez, good morning. Sir Lloyd, Jolly Gares, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika. Sherwin Leno, my buntag Sir Face, eh. good morning. Nona Desunia, hello. Yan, Marin Jane Tang, good morning. Ayon now and GSMI, please let's talk about them. Sulat ko muna, Mary Jane ha. Uh, she's one of our isa siya sa mga masugid na nga, ma, na taga-subaybay natin right Mary Jane good morning um JC Fernandez good morning Nona Desunia good morning Sir Lloyd and good morning then Verano Pul- Pulmones yan um good morning Verano good morning Sir thank God it's Friday yes thank God it's Friday kahapon medyo nag talk profit taking ang mga tao nakita niyo si Aya ALI biglang bumaba kahapon so after that profit taking the normal uptrend should resume so Ayala should be very good today all right um before we start i want to request lang konting request before we start please share the videos we are getting so much traction so sa program i'm i'm very grateful sa inyo um today please share the video also the goal of the program really is to inspire filipinos to start in uh, stock exchange and the biggest fear of uh, yun pinakamalaking kinatatakutan ng mga Pinoy kaya hindi sila nagsisimula is they don't know what stock exchange is and they don't know what they're doing when they're, they're inside so once they see that there are programs like this na tutulong sa kanila um, how to start in trading at least trading ba trading yung ginagawa natin um, magugustuhan lang pumasok Right. So please share the video. Yun lang yung request ko sa inyo. Please share the video. Um, ano nga pala? Ah, um, on August 25 yung ano ko yung free na seminar by Itoro. Right? Sponsored by Itoro yan. Um, normally um may medyo pricey yung workshops ko di ba? This one is free for Visayas. This one is free. Sagot na ni Itoro yung yung bayad yan. So Please join the pro. Uh, please join sa mga kapatid na na nasa Visayas. Please join the seminar. I tell you, day one palang kahapon ng pag-advertise ko. Thirty percent of the seats has been eaten already. So you have sixty percent. We have sixty percent of the seats na lang available. Bilisan yon, right? Because day one palang ubus na ang seats, right? So please uh, process. Tignan yung post again. There is a pro- uh, process of the registration there. Please follow that. Also, please share that if you are not in Visayas, at least yung mga kapatid nyo from Visayas, uh, if you have friends from Visayas, they will know. Right? Um, again, please share this video, okay? Uh, asan ako? Verano, good morning, TGIF. Alan Ibarbia, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Annette Bala, good morning, Coach Lloyd. Uh, ayan, um, MHC and APX, let's talk about them today, Annette. Si MHC kakabounce lang, di ba? So, I think it's good to get in already today after that profit taking. Patrick Sanggalang, good morning everyone. Yan, Adrian, Dayrit, Alan, Ibarbia, PLC please. Ayan. Good morning sa inyo, PLC. Let's talk about that. Uptrend pa rin si PLC. Um, good morning Sir Lloyd from Lea de Guzman, R. Lauren Mendoza, Richie uh, Go, good morning, TBGI Poser. And Bloom, ayan si Bloom, topic ko yun kahapon, gumalaw na si Bloom at last, di ba? So, I'm not putting Bloom in the recommendations today kasi mataas na risk, that's a missed opportunity. Let's talk about TBGI in a while. Alright, sulat ko si TBGI. Si BRN din at last, gumalaw na kahapon. Um, in the chat room nga pala guys, this is our chat room. Uh... If hindi pa kayo nakaka-join sa chat room, please join it. I want to share my screen. And this is our chat room. Dito kahapon, si BRN, I'm going to show you BRN. Habang dito pa lang si BRN at 0.98, I already shouted out to them. Si BRN guys, nagsisimula na get in right away. Yeah. So, ch- so yung mga tao sa chat room, yung mga may buying power, pumasok kay BRN. And they were able to win this much right kay BRN. And it, the BRN has just started. Ilang araw ko na ito rinarecommend. Nagay ko nga si BRN sa top picks ko eh, di ba? I placed it in my top pick because napakalit ng risk ninyo na yan for a very good company. And then, I'm just not sure when it will go up. Once it does, it's gonna be a very big win. 
So, linalagay ko yan dyan. Remember Lopez when I re recommended it there? Hindi gumalaw kagad si Lopez. Ilang araw pa siya before it started winning really. Right? So, I'm placing it here because these are very low risk positions. Ta tulad ni BRN. Right? So, yon Si BRN gumalaw na. That's the advantage of joining the chat room. If hindi pa kayo naka-join sa chat room, please join the chat room. Um, ilalagay ko mga relevant links sa comments ngayon. Right? So, just download Discord. Hanapin niyo yung link na Discord dyan, the Discord group. And then, once you have downloaded Discord, yung link, lagay nyo dito sa search na ito. And then, search nyo lang yung link, makakapasok kayo dito. So, dito, uh, everyone is sharing very good information. Um, merong mga charting discussions dito sa mga marurunong mag-trades. And then, if you're a newbie, People here will help you, right? Nag-charting -nag discussion yan yung community. May poll din dyan. May books dito. If you're looking for books, everyone is sharing all their PDFs if they have one, right? So, that's a good, uh, that's a good, uh, this is a very good chat room. This will be very helpful for you. And dyan yung PSE updates daily. Updated yan whenever uh, a dis uh, uh, what do you call this? A disclosure comes out. Uh, makikita nyo rin habang nag-trade, right? So, dyan. Please join the chat room. And um asa na tayo. Uh, magundo Albert Panes, good morning. Uh, Sherwin Ramos, good morning. Edwin Hardaleza, good morning you all. Good morning Sir Lloyd Laika, God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, and guys, please share the video again sa mga kakapasok lang. Verano Polmones, my recorded video ba ng seminar on August 25, sir? Verano, sadly, uh, I will not be putting it live, di ba? Um this workshop of mine uh I will be honest with you, uh, this is one of the way financial freedom is uh, earning funds, right? Pag linive ko kasi yan, um, mawawala na tayo ng, uh, ng source ng, ano, ng pang rollout, pang, pang uh, ano natin, tawag dyan, pang upkeep natin sa financial freedom 101. So, ang ginawa kasi ni, um, ang ginawa kasi ni, uh, uh, what do you call this, ni Itoro is that they paid for 200 heads for the workshop and I'm giving it, I'm already giving it to these 200 people who wants to join the workshop. Bale, nagbayad sila, pero iba yung nagbayad sa for them, di ba? So, um, that's the reason why hindi ko ito malalive talaga. I hope you understand. Um, let me just close this out. Yan, um, Joe S. Marcelo, good morning. Can you discuss APX and TN, uh, APX and IDC? Let's talk about them. Andyan pa naman yun si IDC sa list ko eh. Laging nandyan yun si IDC. We just don't know when it is gonna go up. Sherwin Ramos is asking about STR. And then do the Leon, sir, your recommendations sa website, tama ba kasi August 9 and date? Oh, hindi ko lang na-edit ng date. Sorry about that. Uh, it should be August 10. Right, so this is the website, actually, guys. Update. And so this is the website. Sorry, in-update ko na yun. So August 10 na dapat lalabas dyan. So this is the website. Before the program starts, nakalista yan dyan ang mga recommendations ko. If ever mapuputol yung panoonood nyo, andyan yan. Right, so, um, asa na tayo? Um, ATN from John Tio, Tio, Tion. Um, let's talk about ATN. Alright, so, nagsisimula nang ma takpan ang mga comments. So, I'm really sorry if ever, uh, um, hindi ko ma discuss yung anon, um, hindi ko mabasa yung greetings inyo. Bernard Veloso, th thank you, uh, good morning. Then, sharing video on no record nyo for X, BPN, AV from Dan Bautista. Alright, this down. Right, so I'm just gonna cover all uh, as many, ano, as many, ano, as many comments and questions as I can. Isusulat ko na lang para hindi na mawala. Albert Panis, FNI reversal na ba? We'll talk about that. FNI, uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Mona, Eman, oh, Sir Win, uh, Eman Trino, Win IS, MHC. Let's talk about these. And, and morning, Sir PXP. Good morning, Sir Lahat. Let's uh, get financial free together. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Lino Antonio, yes. Let's get rich together nga, di ba? Alma Ven Villanueva Fausto. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Not sure if we were able to answer this yesterday, but should AC and ALI be treated the same way as ATN and TBGI? Uh, iba, iba, eh. iba yung Ayala at Ay Ayala Corp. Eh. They are different companies, but more or less... Nemos, yun yung umbrella com company ng Ayale. So, Ace, Ayale, ALI is the mother com company. Uh, uh, AC is the mother company of ALI. Marami kasi ang business ang, uh, ang Ayala Corporation. Ayan, dyan yung ALI. Andyan yung 
Actually, yung Cebu Holdings under din nila eh. Diba? Cebu Holdings Incorporated, yung CHI na yan, under na Ayala yan. Ang dami niyan. Hindi, hindi lang naman uh, property development ang Ayala Corp. So, that's their umbrella corp. Kaya mas malaki yung presyo ni AC. Diba? Um, uh, they're, they're also, they also have a big part of the shares of Ayala. Kaya, na-affectahan din sila kung umakit ang Ayala. Umakit din si AC. Kasi kung kumikita ang Ayala, kumikita din ang AC, and then other companies nila, like Cebu Holdings, uh, ano pa ba yung ibang mga companies na Ayala, marami pa, um, pag kumikita ang mga ito, kumikita din si AC. Kaya, um, ang, ang, andun lang kay AC is, accumulated na sa lahat. Diba? So, kaya, kaya ganun yung pag-treat natin sa AC. Kung umakit si Ayala, kaya umakit din sa AC. Kasi kumikita din sila with Ayala. Ayala, sorry. Right. Vita and Ma Didi from Mil Sereno. Let's talk about this. Right, so I'm gonna go to your uh, questions na muna. I'm really sorry kung meron tayong mga matatakpan na mga comments, but we'll discuss this. Unahin natin si ATN and ATNB. ATN, yeah, Kasi very popular demand ito ngayon. So let's talk about this. AT. Sorry. Right, so... Uh, Yan, galaw ko lang kasi medyo ano eh. So, ATN. Kapon, bumaba si ATN ng 1.54. This, is it a reversal or not? Kung pababa na ba si ATN? Actually, ATN's price is still very good. If you see, kahit bumababa yan, ang dami pa rin ng volume ni ATN. Marami pa rin bumibili. It's just sa people, actually, nag-attempt siya ng breakout kapon. This is how strong ATN still is still, nag-breakout siya, as a it failed, and then it remained at 1.54. Napakalit lang yung binaba niya. 1.54. Um, should people sell already? Right? I, al- I al- already mentioned this to you. Treat ATN as a, an investment uh, stock. Right? Napakalayo pa ng aabuti ni ATN. Right? Um, yes, this is normal. It's normal for people to to sell out, right? But, that will be good for us, especially sa mga investors kay ATN. Because this will be our opportunity to buy more. If ever bumagsak man yan, um, I've, I have already recommended for people to sell their, half of their stocks here. Don't sell everything, I tell you. Kasi hindi mo alam kung aakyat yan or hindi. Na- naalala nyo si Heaven, right? This is what happened to Heaven. I just want to remind you sa nangyari kay Heaven, sa umpisa ng akyat niya. Look at this right here. So, market si Heaven and then hit that resistance right there and then nagpupula. So, what people did was they sold everything here. Right? Nagbenta sila dito. Um, if you sold all, you could have missed this growth ni, ni Heaven. Diba? That's why I don't recommend selling it all. Be here as an investor. Same with Heaven. Kung pumasok kayo dito kay Heaven, be here as an investor. Kasi hindi nyo alam. Look at this right here. I think this is similar to what happened to ATN, right? Hindi nyo alam kung aakyat yan or bababa. And in this case, umakyat pa nga, di ba? ATN, aakyat pa yan. I tell you. So, don't sell all. If if natatakot talaga kayo sa position nyo, yes, I understand that. That's normal for ATN. Um, so, you can sell half of your position, but don't sell everything, right? Aakyat pa yan, I tell you. So, yun lang. Uh, that's for ATN. Um, TBGI naman, syempre, hinahatak, ni, hinahatak si TBGI ni ATN. But, don't uh, don't uh, think of TBGI as similar to ATN. It's just that mother company, pero ibang business talaga ng TBGI. At some point, mawawala ng steam ito si TBGI kaagad compared to ATN. So, t- si ATN talaga, kung gusto niyong pumasok with the climb of ATN, doon kayo kay ATN pumasok instead of TBGI. Okay? So, that's for... Um, ano? Uh, that's for... Uh, ATN. So, let's go to the first question si Ayon. Ayon, next. Ah, yan. Si Ayon ngayon, um, nagsa-sideways na eh. Um, ito yung sinasabi ko. Nag-head and shoulders. <clears throat> Nag-head and shoulders tayo dito. So, I th- I thought this was gonna change the direction and it did. And now, si Ayon nag-sideways. So, but we have a go- good support right here. If ever gusto nyo pumasok kay Ayon. If ever pumasok kay Ayon, look at, but this is lower highs right here. So, konti ingat lang ha. Baka bumagsak, right? If this, if Ion um, bounces, you can bet on this support. Anyways, Ion is a good company. So, I think aakit pa yan, right? But, this is a sign that we are going down slowly. by uh, Slowly. 
So I will, I will strongly wait, would want for you to wait for a breakout right here. This is a descending triangle right here. Pababa yung lower highs niya. So this is going down. If ever mag breakout man yan, yeah, that will be your entry point. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na babagsak ito. Hindi ko rin sinasabi na aakyat. So this is a descending triangle right here. So pag nag breakout yan, that will be your entry point. Remember Meg, ito yung, ganito yung nangyari kay Meg. My signs na ganito kay Meg, di ba? Before it did break out. So we have lower highs right here. So we thought Meg was gonna do sideways, di ba? So we have a triangle right there. We have a support and we have this descending right here. And the entry point was a breakout and si Meg nagtuloy-tuloy after that breakout. So um, baka mangyari rin yun kay Ion. So we can't be really sure. So if you wanna enter Ion, it's either you try this support right here, pinaka maliit na risk yan, or mas sure naman yung breakout na lang talaga. So just go in at a breakout pag puma, pag nag breakout yan diyan yung pasukin right so right so yan um that's for ayon uh, sinaw naman right guys i'll be answering your questions the best i i can okay we are seeing good tails dito kay ano kay kay now diba may magandang tail dito kay now after when it reached this support right here at 7.98 7.99 7 is uh, 8 is the um, psychological support kay now eh. people treat 8 as a good support for ion um, for now so but i don't want you to risk this right mamaya na kay pumasok right if ever man mag mag green ito at mag engulfing that's the engulfing pattern i've been teaching you about bollinger bands if mag green yan then that will be your entry point for now if ever gusto niyo pumasok kay now Yan yun. Um, bumabagsak si Nao kasi palit ang palit yung chances niya sa third tail ko. Eh. Lumalakas na lumalakas si PTNT. And whenever PTNT uh, shows strength, lumiliit ang chances ni Nao. Psychologically, um, I think it is happening. Right? So, PTNT, abangan na natin. Um, marami ng good news kay PTNT. One of the best news yesterday mm, kay PTNT is mm, they're already out of rehab so anytime soon after nung ano after nung ASM nila kasi isa yun sa mga requirements nila then they should be able to come back already so abangan natin yan ready your buying power ready at least 50,000 pesos ilagay nyo kay PT, PTNT agad that will be a very good investment for you guys si PTNT uh, I have a bias with PTNT sa third telco if you wanna ask me ano yung third telco bet ko number one ko si PTNT bakit? Kasi from the start of this PTNT, um, PTNT na, I mean, PTNT, third telco na news, sila ang Danar nag-announce nito eh. They were very vocal about PTNT. They already had plans for the third telco to be PTNT. But then again, you know, ginawa lang bid. So, more or less, the government is, have, this, have that bias kay PTNT. What if magkaparehas sila ng bidding scores ng iba? I think PTNT will win. So, that's the bias I have there. So, um, I think PTNT is gonna be ano, is gonna be the third telco. So, pwede kayo magbet dyan. Um, it's a very sure bet. Kahit na hindi sila magi uh, magiging third telco, they will be resuming their telco. Uh, up, uh, they will be ramping up their telco uh, capabilities. So, kahit maging fourth telco sila, okay pa rin. Diba? So, it's it will be a very good win. So, have at least 50k ready for PTNT <clears throat> to come back. <clears throat> Ayan. Punta ako sa list again. Um, GSMI naman. GSMI. So, GSMI breakout after a very good win sa PBA. PBA ba yun? PBL na yun ngayon. <laughs> Nag-champion si GSMI at yun, tumaas din yung stocks niya. But this is not about the basketball game. GSMI, you know that GSMI is a very good company. I've been recommending GSMI here pa lang sa support niya. Um, right now, taas na ni GSMI. Nag-breakout pa nga. If you wanna get in GSMI, um, use a... Use a... What they call this? Uh, use a breakout strategy. Napaganda na earnings sa GSMI. And investors are starting to kick in for GSMI. That is your entry point. If you wanna get in nearer to this breakout as much as possible, pwede. Right? As much as possible. Wait for a retracement and use this breakout point as your support right there. So, mag-zoom in lang ng konti. Right there. So, that's it. Close ko lang ito. Para walang ano. Right. So, um, that's for GSMI. MHC naman. Ito, isa sa mga hinahabol ng mga stocks ngayon sa MHC. 
Yes, I'm recommending MHC. Um, they have very good earnings na lumabas uh, two days ago and it's at support. So that's a very low risk position right there. And look at that. Nagbabounce ang presyo at a higher uh, position kaysa support. So that means that the buyers are already starting to kick in and has a bullish uh, bullish mindset na for MHC. That's a good sign. MHC, pasok na kayo habang maaga pa. So MHC, um, should I put it in my top Picks, I think I should kasi napakalit ng risk, napaganda. So, I'm gonna be adding MHC to the top picks ko. MHC right there. So, anim na yung nasa top picks ko. I'm gonna be discussing about my top picks later. Uh, MHC. Next one is APX. Guys, sa mga kakapasok lang, please share the video. Yun lang yung hiling ko sa inyo. I hope I have earned that request. So, let's talk about uh, APX. Si APX, very good earnings. We're just waiting for a retracement kay APX. I think this was the retracement already at 1.55 and nagdebabounce na siya kahapon to 1.60. So I think magtutuloy-tuloy na itong uptrend ni APX. This is the uptrend line that you're looking for. So pag nag-green na yun sa APX, pasok na kayo guys. So that is the uptrend of APX. Napakaganda ng earnings na APX. That means that APX is gonna be doing good in the future. Most probably, right? The company itself is doing good. Um, the prices, I don't know, but APX something uh, is a good stock to what they call this to invest in. Malayu layu pa resistance natin chan ka APX. So get in while it's, this is on an uptrend. These are the best entry points to get into APX. Okay, so yan, um, buy as long as that support holds for APX. Um, PLC naman, may tagtanong about PLC. Alright, PLC. Ayaw mag-load ng PLC. I'm gonna go, yan, PLC. So, PLC, nagsa-sideways, it's still at MA20. So, this is a consolidation of MA20. We have a support right here. You can use MA20 as your support. Um, pag nag-green yan today, pwede kayo mag-test by just cut loss below the support right here. If ever gusto nyo pumasok kay PLC. But definitely, PLC is a good company. Um, magkasama yan sila ni R, uh, RWM ba yun? Uh, MP... Kalimutan ko sino yung partner nila eh. May binili sila na company eh. L Hindi naman sa si LR. Just forgot. Yeah, nawawala sa isip ko. But yeah. Uh, this is PLC right here. So, um, pag nag-green yan, pwede nyo pasukin. Mag-test buy kayo. Uh, you can test out this support right here. This is a good support for PLC already. Right? Um, PLC is a buy. Buy as long as that support holds. I'm gonna be adding PLC sa lista ko ngayon. I was expecting for that PLC support to hold. And it did hold. Yan. So, by as long as that support holds for PLC. Um, TBGI. Yan. May nagtatanong about TBGI. We talked about TBGI already. And a little review lang kay TBGI. Yan. Si TBGI. Uh, yes, it's on an uptrend. Um, about time na you don't treat it as ATN. So, we have, uh, we're showing lower highs right here for uh, TBGI. So, that's uh, that's a bad sign right there. So, if ever mag-bounce ito at this uptrend line... Kami, uh, hanap lang kayo ng retracement. I can't plot the uptrend line. As of the moment, we can use the MA20 as much as possible. Um, wala pa tayong uptrend line. Eh. So, anytime soon, magbabounce yun si TBJ. Pwede niya i-test yan. We have a support right here. Nagsishow siya ng support. Not very strong support right there. But that's still a support because it was hit twice already. So, maybe it will go down there and bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, dyan, muna, dyan nyo itetest si TBGI. Okay? Um, that's for TBGI. IDC. Ayan. Ilang araw ko na ito rin recommend si IDC. And I am still recommending IDC. Buy on the dips. Ayan. Maging investor kay dito. It's stabilizing already. Hindi pa siya hinug talaga. Um, stabilizing at higher lows. Buy as long as the support holds for IDC. This is a vol very solid price for IDC. For a very good company. Right? This is... Low risk positions right here. So, IDC is still a buy. Buy as long as that support holds. Mag-test buy lang kayo para huwag maipit ang pera nyo kung hindi man yan gumalaw kaagad. Just go all in pag nag-uptrend na yan. Right? So, IDC right there. MHC. Uh, no, not MHC. Yung next na tanong was STR. Yan si STR. Yan. Nagsa-sideways pa rin si STR. So, if you are into STR, buy as long as the support holds. But I'd rather recommend VLL compared to STR undervalued si VLL, right? Nasa top picks ko ngayon si VLL, but napakalipis na ng Bollinger Band ni VLL. So, that's a very solid price right there. Pumasok na kay VLL, guys. This is one of my favorite technical analysis. Constricted Bollinger Band. Look at your risk if you enter. This is, this should be what trading is about. Getting in 
undervalued stocks at a very low risk. Look at that. If ever man mag-fail yung support na yan, your risk is only 2%. Right? Um, the support is, the main support is only 2% away. 2.5%. Pwede kayo mag-cut loss at around 4%. Very low risk position. What are you looking? Uh, ano pa yung hinahanap nyo? Easy wins yung mabilis ka agad. No, that's not trading. Trading should be about patience and this is the best with these are one of the best positions. Trading should be about getting in low risk stocks, good stocks which has low risk. That should be trading. Yan yung dapat i embrace nyo about trading. And this is one of the best positions, I tell you. Right? Tulad ni BRN, yun si BRN. Hindi natin alam kung kailan gagalaw yan. But these are very low risk positions or a very good stock. Kaya yun yung nangyari kay BRN. Look at that Bollinger Band right there. Very low risk already. And yun, gumalaw na. Antayin nyo pang gumalaw, get in early. It should be better if you get in at these positions right here. Kahit pa ilang araw pa yung gumalaw, it's okay. Kasi pag gumalaw yan, mananalo kayo. Remember, stock exchange, is, um, trading is not about winning big fast. It's not about it. right? It's really about lowering your risk, entering at good positions at a very low risk. Minimize your risk and these are the best companies to get into. Very low risk. I'd rather get in for VLL, right? So, VLL is one of my top picks. Kasi napakaliit ng risk niyan. Um, tinop pick ko yan not because malaki yung mapapanalunan nyo dyan. Tinop pick ko yan because of the very low risk nature of it for a very good company. Right. So, that's for VLL. STR, ATN. We talked about ATN. Ito si X. Maraming hindi ko makapag-move on kay X. And X is forming a support. If you wanna test X, test this support right here. Yeah, by as long as that support holds for X, hindi naman siya nakapag-trigger talaga ng Bollinger Band. So, that's still okay for X. Yan, yeah, it's forming. Pumupula siya. Look at this price action wise. I talked about this price action. It bumabagsak siya. But you can see the price action whenever it hits the 3.08. It's not about support or resistance. It's about the price action. Look at that. Nagbebentahan, nagbebentahan. But whenever it hits this price, wala na. Lumiliit yung pagbebenta. So, this is price action right here. You can say that the uh, people are starting to buy X at 3.08, pag pumapasok ko mga tao dyan, dyan, that's where you enter also. So, if you're looking at X, you can test this support right here. Pumasok kayo dyan. Alright. Just test buy. If ever it fails, anyways, you can always cut loss. Ang kagandahan nito is a very low risk position. Um, X has very good projects in the future. And this is a very solid support right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, countless times. That's a solid support right there. So, that should be a good entry point for X. Very low risk. At a very good support. Uh, X... Yan, lagay ko si X sa list ko. So, buy as long as that support holds. Next up, sa mga questions, BPI. BPI. Ayan, guys. BPI. Um, BPI is showing good support right here. Right? We are seeing a descending triangle, but BPI is a good company. Right, guys? Um, look at the price action. Nagbebentahan. Umakit, nagbebentahan. Pero the, the selling stops here. Kasi andyan na naman yung mga buyers dyan. Same. Right there. This is the main support, but it's forming a support right here. Pag nag-green yan, pasukin nyo na. That will be a higher low and umpisa na sa pag ni BPI. Right? So, um, this is the secondary support. That's why it's very good kasi pag nag-fail yung support na yan, may secondary support kayo at a very low risk. Let's check your risk if papasok kayo. Kung mag-green man yan, look at your risk. Just 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, pwede kayo mag-cut loss if you want to. So, that's a very good position for BPI. Again, a very good company to get into. Right, very low risk for a good company right there. So, BPI. So, buy as long as that support holds. I'm adding BPI sa list. Kumahaba na naman yung list. Uh, papalitan ko yan. Hiaanapin ko yan mga yan. But then again, I have my top picks. Yung top picks talaga ang gusto kong pasukin ninyo. Alright, BPI. Uh, that was um, question. Next one is AEV. Ayan, si AEV. Noong support, ilang araw ko ito rinirecommend. Bakit kayo kayo maghahabol kay AEV? And kaya pala. Ayan, we have higher lows kay AEV and we have... Yeah, this this should be the retracement of AEV. Um, it's forming a support. Pag nagreen yan, that will be your confirmation. That will be your um ano. That is a an entry point for AEV. Look at this. Let's check out Fibonacci retracement sa last gal galaw niya. Huling galaw niya. Yan. Lumagpas na siya sa six one eight. This is the reversal uh, area right here. Six one eight. So, this, pag lumagpas yan dyan, that means it's already a reversal. So, these are the retracements you're looking for. At 618, nagbabasa na naman. That's your, that's your entry point, actually. 
yung area na yan. So, pag nag-green yan, that was a good confirmation. Pasa ko yung kay AEV. It will be slow moving because this is a blue chip. But, definitely, it's a very sure company to get into. AEV has very good earnings for the first half. Am I right? Um, I think nakalimutan ko. I think naglabas na ng earnings si AEV. Hindi nga lang lumalabas dito eh. First quarter pa lang pala. Hindi pa lumalabas dito eh. So, I could be wrong. But, then again, AEV is a very solid company. Right? So, this is a good entry point for si AEV. Um, next question was FNI. Ayan, may doji na si FNI kahapon. That's a good sign of a uh, recovery for a in FNI, right? So, I think anytime soon, FNI is gonna go up. Meron tayong last trigger dito. This became a support. That doji right there is a rejection. Sorry, ito. This is a rejection. Uh, hindi lang natin maklaro kasi napakanipis. But that is a, um, maybe I can thicken the wicks. Let me see if I can. Give me one second. O, oh, wicks naman. Ayaw eh. So, hindi pala pwede pakapalin si wick niya. So, gawin lang natin colorful ang wicks. Ayan. So, wicks. Ayan. So, yan yung wick right there. And, nung nag-hit siya ng 1.97, nag-reversal. So, this is a rejection of a downtrend. So, possible reversal na ito. We can't be sure nga lang. So, I want you to wait for a reversal pag nag-engulfing. This will be an engulfing Bollinger Band pattern. Pag nag-green yan at mas mataas ang red na ito, that's a good sign na reversal na tayo. Right? So, FNI. Abangan lang natin. Wait lang muna tayo kay FNI. I'm, I'm monitoring it. Don't worry. Win. Actually, ako nag-cut loss ako kay FNI. If ever mag-reversal yan, papasukin ko ulit. Right? Win naman. Um, we have a um, tawag dito. It's a slow downtrend, but we have a bounce right here. So, abangan natin yung bounce ni win. Just wait for a bounce kay win, right? Before you get in. So, mga nakapasok dito, um, pag nag-bounce yan, that will be an opportunity to buy more for win. Hindi naman talaga stock exchange. It's not really about winning fast, right? So, wag, uh, I please erase that from your mind. Si IS naman, look at IS. We have a reversal kay IS dito. It's a very good reversal for IS. I think it's just gonna... Um, let's just wait for a support to happen. Right? Pag nag-higher low ito, that will be your entry point. Right? So, wag muna. Right? Kasi baka bumaba ito magtuloy-tuloy. And we can wait. Uh, pag bumaba yan, um, ganito yan ha. Pag bumaba yan, guys, abangan nyo sa support na ito. If, when it stabilizes, that will be your entry point para maliit ang risk ninyo. Um, if ever mag baka magtuloy-tuloy rin, that's that disadvantage. If you're, uh, if you are an aggressive type of person, pwede nyo pasukin ka agad yan. But I'd rather wait for a retracement before you getting in. Kasi pag nag-retrace yan, that's a confirmation na reversal na ito using Mollinger Bands. Um, that's a confirmation na reversal na ito and then that will be your entry point pag nag-retrace yan si IS. MHC, we I think we talked about MHC already. IS, MHC, Vita. Ayan, si Vita, bias loss the support holds. Yan yung sinasabi ko kahapon. Kahapon ko pa nire-recommend si Vita. Kasi yung nagbabounce na siya sa support, nagpula lang siya. I knew this was gonna bounce. Ayan, nagtuloy-tuloy nga ang bounce. So, bias loss the support holds. Maliit pa rin ang risk ninyo. For a very good company, Vita is a good to get into. Right? Um, you can cut loss at 5% if you want to. I just, you can test by it. Dapat kahapon pa lang, pumasok na kayo. Yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Um, when you're looking at a stock, um, as much as possible, if you see bounces here at the support, that will be your entry point. Huwag nyo antayin mag end of the day kasi lalaki na yung risk nyo Pag may confirmation lang kayo ng bounce dyan, pwede nyo nang pasukin yan. So, Vita, the best entry point was here. At least maliit ang risk nyo. Ah, okay pa naman maghabol kay Vita. Still, Vita is still on my recommendations. Maliit pa rin ang risk niya for a good company. So, Hindi natin alam kung saan gagalaw, uh, kung kailan gagalaw yan. That's, um, again, that's not what trading is about. Next on is MAH. Ayan, MAH, price action wise. Kahit pula yung mga yan, look at this, confirming a support right here for MAH. So, this is, this support is our entry point. By as long as this support holds for MAH. Ayan, those are the entry points for MAH. Those are higher low supports right there. So, okay na sa MAH. By as long as that support holds. Nasa recommendation ko pa rin yan. Um, DD naman, with, let's talk about DD. Right, so, si DD, ayun. So, at yung retracement kay DD, recommended DD here. Nasa recommendations ko pa rin yan si DD. Uh, bakit na wala si DD? Ah, breakout pala yun kay DD. Right? Should I add DD now? Let's check out your risk kay DD. Nawala pala sa lista ko si DD. 
But this is a retracement right here. Ito yung sinasabi natin. Higher low recommended DD here. Umakyat. Hindi ko lang napansin ulit si DD for the past 3 days. Nag-aakyat na pala. So if you still wanna get in DD, I will not recommend that kasi naiwan na tayo. Um, just wait for DD to do a breakout. This is a clear resistance right here. Meron nga tayong resistance eh. Um, this resistance in DD is hit already twice. So we can count this as our resistance. But the support is going up. The bounces are going up. So this is forming a triangle. If, uh, wag na tayong pumasok kay DD. Uh, wag, uh, wag na tayong maghabol. But if you believe DD is gonna go up, you can. But I strongly recommend, especially sa mga newbies, mag-wait na lang kayo ng breakout dito. Pag nag-breakout yan, that will be our entry point for DD. Right? So, it's 8.52. Um, before I go back to the comments ng mga tao, ang dami na nat natatakpan. Um, so, uh, I'm sure hindi ko na mababasa yon. Really sorry. If, if ever gusto nyo pa mabasa ulit, you can comment it later once I start with the picks again. So, unahin ko muna yung top picks ko. Right? So, top picks ko for today, Popey. Yan, si Popey. Yan, still very low risk for a good company. Yan, si Popey. Bias lang as that support holds for Popey. And this is good for investment. Yan si Popey na yan. So, nagre-retrace siya. Kaso nga lang, binabalik ng mga buyers. So, you see that the buyers are still there for Popey. And it's making this support hold. Right? So, Popey, buy as long as this support holds for Popey. Napakaganda pa rin ni Popey. We have secondary support right here. If you want, um, you can average down. I will recommend Popey for investing. Maganda rin si Popey. CLI. If you notice guys, wala na sa, uh, wala na sa lista ko si ATN. But definitely, ATN is still a buy. Kaso nga lang, wala na akong mahanap na basis. So I can't really teach you where to do your cut losses if you wanna get in. I'm just recommending ATN as an investor. Pumasok kayo whenever there are dips. Whenever there are dips, just buy more, buy more. I tell you, napakamura pa rin yan. Um, CLI. One of my top picks pa rin, CLI. You can see here, mayroong magagandang projects sa CLI. Right? Ang dami nakalain na projects sa na CLI. So, we have a support right here. Get in as near as this support as much as possible. Magbangko na kayo dyan. We are seeing higher lows right here. So, that's a good sign for CLI. Price action wise, that's a very good sign for CLI. Mag-start na kayo mag-ipon kay CLI habang maaga pa. For that's for CLI. VLL naman. Yes, VLL. But as long as this support holds. We talked about VLL already. BDO. Guys, si BDO. Ayan, support na si BDO. So, buy as long as this support holds for BDO. This is a very good position for a good company. Napakamura pa rin ni BDO. So, it's starting to form a support. Buy as long as this support holds for BDO. Ayan. Um, next up is TUGS. Ayan, si TUGS lumapit na naman sa breakout level niya. So, this was the support. This is the support of TUGS right there. Ayan. And it's already showing us higher lows right here. Kahit pula yan, look at that. These are confirmations that buying are already happening in is already happening in 3.86 right there mas mataas na yung buying ni tags so price action is telling us na may buying na dito kahit pula yan so tags i'm recommending tags use a breakout strategy meaning etong last na resistance is our support so that's our support for tags pwede na kayong bumili ulit kay tags eh, we have price action confirmations next up is ani ayan si ani nag reversal this is an engulfing pattern for Annie, so anytime soon, aakit na naman yun si Annie. This is the time to get in Annie. For a very good company, that's your entry point right there. For Annie, MHC. Yan, top pick ko rin ngayon sa MHC dahil dyan. So MHC, very good earnings. Yan, and still very low risk. So pwede nyo pasukin yan sa MHC. So those are my top picks. Uh, <clears throat> Before I go back to your uh, questions, and guys, please, um, sa mga kapapasok lang, please share the video. That's the only request I will have from you. I share the video so that we let people know, especially mga Filipinos. Let, we let more Filipinos know that there is a program like this, the Daily Grind, which will help them in their stock exchange journey if ever they decide to join stock exchange. That's our goal. Paramihin natin ang mga Pinoy na investor kasi napakaraming Pinoy na wala pa sa stock exchange. Sadly, we are the one of the worst percentage-wise na population sa stock exchange. Filipinos only consist 1% of the entire stock exchange. Meaning sa 1% na yan, uh, sa 100% na nag invest sa stock exchange, 1% lang ang mga Pinoy. That's how sad it is. Mga foreigners ang nakikinabang sa stock exchange natin. Right? 
of the earnings could, that we could have uh, that could have been uh, gained from stock exchange nakukuha ng mga foreigners. That's how sad the reality of stock exchanges. Kaya may ganitong program, please share it. Let people know that our programs like this na gustong tumulong sa kanila to start in stock exchange. Please share the video. Yun lang yung ko. Oh, so, time check. It's 8.57. Uy, maaga pa. Right. So, and um, I'm gonna go to the ano, um, to the comments now. Edwin Tami, Morning Maestro. Good morning, F and I. We talked about that. A and I is in my topic. ISM. And si ISM, antay lang tayo ng bounce ni ISM. Right. So, ISM, nagre-retrace ng ganyan. So, pag nag-bounce sa MA20, that will be good, a good entry point si ISM. May linuluto, but um, it's still rumors. So, I'll just buy again. Nakumita na tayo sa akit ni ISM. Uh, I'll just buy again ISM if ever mag-green yan. So, that's a retracement. Right. So, may nagtatanong about PXP. Right, si PXP, uh, definitely is still okay. Right. Okay pa rin naman si PXP. Kasi nga lang, very high risk. So, if you want to get in PXP, uh, get in with the mindset of a trader. right? Uh, trader lang muna. If ever... Uh, pwede naman investment. It's very shaky for BXP kasi uh, speculative pa rin siya as of the moment. Eh. We're not really sure. At, uh, no disrespect for the PXP lovers. At PXP is, very, is a very good avenue to earn uh, to earn money in. Um, kaso nga lang, at the end of the day, you can say it's still speculative kasi hindi lang naman si PXP ang posible makakuha ng projects for the oil drilling. Eh, diba? So, it's not PXP. Yun pa nga, yung sinasabi nila is um, Yung sinasabi ni Cayetano is that walang gagastas, gagastohin ang Pilipinas for the project, right? I think ang papa-shoulder nila with the, with the construction and everything is China. So, possible China pa nga company ang makakakuha ng project ni PXP. So, that's the shaky part part right there. If ever Pilipinas naman, well, that's, that will be very good. Uh, um, my point is it's speculative, right? So, um, if you want to get in PXP, get in as a trader right um you uh, use stop losses um use cut losses stop losses to lay. use cut losses if you if your position fails get in the dips that will be your entry points and then doon lang kayo um get in if you want to get in there will be a curse there get in and watch it full time kasi hindi niyo alam kung kailan babagsak yan kung bumagsak man yan may ipit kayo yan so konting ingat um wpi sir from angelo ramos wpi Let's wait for the retracement. Ayan, ayan na yung retracement na WPI. It's familiar? This is your entry point for WPI. I'm gonna be adding WPI on my pick. Um, sa so bias lang as the support holds WPI. Familiar ba itong position na ito? Yes, it is. This is my recommendation kay SSI. Wag nyo hahabulin sa umpisa. Wait for this right there. Mag-bounce sa MA20 and nag-bounce sa MA20 and it's happening now. WPI. It's the same position right there. So, MA20 bounce and nag na. It's not yet too late. Use MA20 as your support. Look at that. Low risk, WPI. So, mga nag tumitingin kay WPI, you can get in using this strategy kay WPI. Thank you so much for asking about WPI. Hindi ko nakamusta ito. Nag-retrace, bounce at MA20 and there it is. The confirmation of that support right there. With WPI, get in now if you're looking into WPI. Ralph Hugo, Seb, Sir Lloyd, um, yan, binilisan ko lang kasi um, ano, um, natatakpan yung mga comments, Seb, buy as long as the support holds pa rin, kay Seb, we have higher lows right here, so buy as long as that support holds for CEB, very constricted Bollinger Band, meaning napaka-stable na ng price, very low risk positions Cheryl Salinas, good morning, Marlon Baldado, CHP, and Surpass, si C- we talked about uh, X already, si CHP, pag-usapan natin recommended CHP sa bounce dito, napakataas niya, tinanggal ko yan siya I did tell you yesterday na magbe-break out sa CHP and I was right, di ba? Um, why did I say it was gonna break out? Kasi yung movement niya nag-stop sa resistance and it did not go down. It just rested at the resistance and then the next day, nag-break out na. If you wanna get in CHP, use a breakout strategy. Magiging support yan. Very strong move for CHP. Good, bo- good job sa mga pumasok dito. Did recommend it here to get in CHP here. Wasn't expecting it to be very strong like this one right here. Pero, Yan, we can't, it's that, that stock market, we can't really guess what the market will do. So, that's, um, so kung gusto niyo umabog kay CHP, use a breakout strategy. Um, breakout na, 500 viewers, Noral Tordilla, thank you so much. Uh, kahapon, nag-breakout kahapon, it was 600 viewers yesterday. Yesterday was the breakout. But still, yan, uh, mas konting uh, viewers na ngayon, but that doesn't really matter. 
kung dadami, then that's good. Um, the point of the program is that we will guide Filipinos on how to get into stock exchange, how to deal with these kinds of positions. Yan yung tinuturo ko. January, PTNT, when should we read your BP? Dapat nagre-ready na kayo ng BP nyo today. Um, complete na ni PTNT ang mga requirements nila. Malapit na yung isa sa kulang nila is the ASM. Uh, the stockholders meeting, mangyayari second week of September. So, baka after that, diretso na sila. So, Anytime soon. Ready your BP na already. At least, maganda kayo ng 50,000 dyan. Right. Um, Bloom po, sir. Brindel, Briones. Si Bloom naman, medyo mataas na. Right. Uh, topic ko yan kapon. Huwag din nahabulin muna. If you wanna get in, you can use a breakout strategy right here if you want to for Bloom. But, uh, malapit na yung resistance. Eh. So, I will recommend, um, if you still wanna get in Bloom, use a breakout strategy. Let's check your risk if ever papasok kayo dyan. Malaki-laki na yung risk niya. Magkakapag-cut loss kayo at 8%. I don't think that's a good risk for you. That's not a good risk for me. So, I'd rather wait for a retracement before getting in bloom. Pero, yan na si bloom. Right? So, kahapon was the best uh, entry point. For ilang araw ko yan, rin-recommend si bloom at as my top picks. Sam Salong is asking about Meg. Si Meg naman, nag-break out. Yun. Use a breakout strategy for Meg. Okay? Use this as your support for Meg. Yeah, it's still on an uptrend. That's a good move for Meg. Michiko, Sir Lloyd, now please, see now naman, parang magre-reversal na, just wait for an engulfing, right? We talked about now already, just wait for an engulfing pattern right here before kayo pumasok kay now. Um, Glenn Espiritu is asking about Vulcan, ano sa tingin ko si Vulcan? Vulcan is doing good naman eh. Um, Nagre-retrace dito, showing lower highs nga lang. Uh, so, Vulcan, uh, just buy on the dips. If ever mag-green yan, this is a dip right here. And dip yan ha. This is a dip. If ever mag-green yan, that's your entry point. Pwede kayo pumasok dyan. That will be forming a higher low right there. So, pwede, mag, pwede kayo mag-test dyan kay Vulcan. Asa nga lang, Vulcan for me is already too high. So, that's why hindi ko muna rin na-recommend sa Vulcan, especially sa newbies. Uh, we talked about P, uh, PXP already. Tapang Michikoy. So, now please. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sharing your video. Thank you, Floricel. Please share the videos sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-share. Yan. Carlos Hanyo, SMPH. Let's talk about SMPH. Si SMPH nasa list ko, but apply a breakout strategy. Why breakout strategy? Look at this right here. After the breakout ng SMPH, nag-retrace siya and where did it bounce? Sa previous resistance. That becomes your support. Right? So, right now, nag-retrace si SMPH. Pag bumaba yan, abangan nyo sa support na yan pag nag-green. I think magtutuloy-tuloy itong green ni SMPH. Pag nagtuloy yung green niya, pumasok na kayo kay SMPH. Very low risk pa yung position na yan. Right? So, 1%, 2%, 3%, yan. You can use even MA20 as your support. But that's already a good sign for SMPH pag nag-green yan, pasukin nyo. Um, all in, AGI sir. And then Melody is asking about P-Core. So AGI, and Si AGI still looking good. Yeah, nagbo, uh, nagbo-ball your band trigger pa rin. AGI still is an uptrend. Hanap lang kayo ng entry point dito. Wait for a retracement as much as possible if you want to. This was the retracement right here. Nagtuloy-tuloy. So this was the last best entry point. Ngayon, mahirap mo nang mahirap mo nang maghabol diyan. So, kahapon nag-retrace siya and then bounce. The retracement happened in one day. So, this was this should have been our your entry point kay AGI kahapon, right? So, that's for AGI. Um Pcore naman, I'm recommending Pcore. Uh still very good valuation for Pcore according to call, napaganda pa rin ng um presyo ni Pcore. So, Pcore is, is still a buy. Right, if ever you want to, sorry about that, those movements, zoom ko lang. Uh, so here, um, yan. Uh, use a breakout strategy for PCOR if you want to get in. So, but PCOR really is still very good, very good valuation pa rin for PCOR. Use a breakout strategy. It's a buy for me. Um, andyan yan sa lista ko si PCOR nga eh, di ba? Si PCOR is in breakout place. Use a breakout strategy for PCOR. Brindel, Brian is Bloom Pooser. We talked about that already. Um, MRC, uh, from Joey Rivero, MRC. Let's talk about MRC. Nasa, nasa recommendations ko ba si MRC? Yes. Buy as long as the support holds for MRC. This is your support right here. Napa, um, let's check out your risk. Okay. Medyo mataas yung risks, but tolerable pa rin. If you can bargain for a bit, pwede. Right. But still, buy as long as the support holds for MRC. It's not yet too late to get in MRC. Right? Um, tapos na si ATN, Jacqueline. Um, yes, tapos na. Uh, hi, Maestro Ed from Taiwan. Uh, 
Cut, si Cut ba yan? But let's go for ATN muna. ATN, still be an investor. Pag nag-bounce yan, then buy more. Right? Uh, medyo mataas na si ATN eh. But still, very good valuation. Um, buy on the dips lang talaga ang marerecommend ko kay ATN. May nag... Ed was asking about, si Cut ba yun, Ed? Natakpan eh. But yeah, Cut analysis kay Cut. Uh, looking bad for Cut. Alright, nagbe-break niya yung support niya. So, iwas muna kay Cut. Alright? Just go, stay out of Cut as of the moment. F uh, felony. Yeah, yan. Michikoy. Now po, Brindel Briones Bloom po, sir. We talked about that already. Edsel Duke. Uh, Pinky Season, sir. Maxis po. Yan, from Pinky Season C. Maxis. Right, Maxis, and we are sh uh, we are seeing resistance kay Maxis. So, ingat muna kay Max. This was the best entry point kay Max na nag-retrace siya. Uh, Maxis, as of the moment, uh, iwas na muna. Baka magtuloy-tuloy yung retracement niya. Baka mag-profit taking yung mga tao. Let's just wait for a retracement before getting into Maxis. Uh, MPI, Jerry Herrera. Yan, si MPI. Very good retracement kay MPI kahapon. Yan, within the day, nag-bounce din agad siya at 4.91 because napakamura pa rin ni MPI. So, I think magtuloy-tuloy na itong bounce ngayon kay MPI. If it goes green, get in kay MPI kaagad. Pag nag-dip naman yan to 4.90 ulit, just buy more. Don't worry about MPI. At long term ang projection natin yan kay MPI. If you wanna ask me, what is the fair value of MPI? Cole will answer you. They have a good research. They have better research than me. So, I trust them. Nasa 8 pesos pa ang valuation ni MPI. So, napakalayo pa rin yung presyo na yan. Right? So, layo pa na aakit ni MPI. So, it's very good for long term. Si MPI. Brindle, Briones asking about Bloom. Breakout lang tayo kay Bloom. Glenn, MPI. Nag-retrace yung viewers mo, sir. <laughs> Nag-retrace nga. It's okay. Um, Rafaela de la Cruz, Kuya Lloyd. Ayun, Kuya Lloyd na naman. <laughs> Turuan na mag-trade sila. Like, sakit sa... <laughs> Sakit sa balakang ng Kuya Lloyd. <laughs> right, so, yeah, tuturuan ko si Laika when she grows up. She wants to be a YouTuber too, like her father. Father, So, yan. Uh, she's gonna be doing that. Also, Jeremy De La Cruz, Emperador po, sir. Thank you. Emperador naman, still very good. Um, still always doing buybacks, Emperador sa stocks nila. So, Emperador, buy as long as the support holds. We have a confirmation right here. Okay, Nes, Emperador, look at this week right here. That's a very good sign. And we are now back at support. So, anytime soon, aakyat na naman yun si Emperador. Definitely still a buy for Emperador. Hindi ko tinatanggal yan sa lista ko. All in, AJ and HLCM. HLCM naman. HLCM, yan. Stabilizing. If you wanna get in HLCM, buy as long as this support holds for HLCM. May na-miss na ako ng news kay HLCM. Eh. I think that was good news for HLCM. Can't really be sure. Um, hindi ko na pap... Uh, have, wala kong oras gaano mag-study ng uh, movements sa HLCM uh, with their fundamentals but definitely price action is doing good look at this lower highs, uh, higher lows right here uh, forming higher lows again HLCM buy as long as the support holds very low risk positions right here for HLCM right, pwede kayo mag-cut loss at around dito sa secondary support niya just 3% away right, so napakaliit, napakaliit ng risk ni HLCM, wala na kong boses 9-10 um, Kidrock Fuentes asking about web. Let's check out web. Kamusta natin sa web? So, nag-perform na ng support dito sa web. Uh, let's just wait for a confirmation kay web. Pag nag-green ulit yan, that will be our confirmation for web. Pwede na natin basukin si web. Uh, Jared Salazar, we talked about PLC already. Apple Fernandez, hello. Gain ako ng 10% kay ML MRC. Tataas po ba siya? Uh, we hope that it will still go up. That good job sa so 10% mo. That's still a win, di ba? MRC. Kung tataas pa ba siya according to the chart, yes. Okay pa naman yung chart niya. So, it's still okay. Retest sa box ang viewers, sir. <laughs> right. Apple Fernandez, thanks sa inyo, sir. You're welcome. Good AM, JFC po. Yan, JFC doing dips. Time to buy more for JFC, guys. This is your chance to buy more for JFC. Right. So, yan yung sinasabi natin. MA20 will be most probably the bounce point. Pero napakamura na ng presyo ni JFC. If alam nyo, yung news kay JFC, mag-open sila na napakaraming branches sa Canada. Diba? So, GFC, still a very good company to invest into. These are the dips and these are good news kasi pwede pa tayong mag-buy more kay JFC. This is our opportunity to buy more. So, buy definitely si GFC. Um, Marcio is asking about TEL. Uh, yan. TEL naman, stabilizing right here. We have a confirmed support right here. So, buy as long as the support holds for TEL. Right? Um, 
nagsustabilize na yung presyo niya. So, buy as long as that support holds for Tel, ha? Dito sa support na yan, baka mag-breakout yan. But that will be your support for Tel. Uh, Ted Abarisha, tapos na buba si VLL. Yes, VLL is in my top picks. Buy as long as that support holds for Tel. JR De La Victoria is asking about uh, AT. Yan. Yes, that's for VLL, okay? Buy as long as the support holds. Si AT naman, uh, still... Uh, this is an engulfing pattern for AT. Right? Nag green dito. Uh, meron, meron tayong engulfing dito. So, that's a good sign for AT. Um, kaso nga lang, konting ingat lang. Open pit mining kasi. May, I think open pit mining si AT. Kaya bumabagsak siya. So, konting ingat lang muna kay AT. Uh, I want a clear reversal pa talaga before we, we, we will get in for AT. Wag muna. Um, let's wait for a higher low before we wanna get in for, for AT. Right. Um... Sophia Lash, yes, we talked about ATN already. Lolita, Lolita, sir, ALI po. Si ALI, definitely a buy. Paren si ALI, use a breakout strategy for ALI. Um, that's for Lolita. Justin Sarmiento, CLC po. CLC is in my recommendations paren buy as long as that. Supports hold, support holds for CLC. CPG naman from Kitten Villarde, CPG. And CPG, ayun, nag-breakout na si CPG. Yet, it was supposed to be buy as long as the support holds. And nag-breakout na siya and Bollinger Band triggered na. It might do another breakout today. So use this as your support if you want to get in CPG. Ito lang, wag masyadong malapit naman. You can use this as your support. Main support is right here for CPG. Definitely, very good. Look at this price actions. Ito yung tinuturo ko. Higher prices are go going at higher lows right here. 1, 2, 3. So, that's a good sign for CPG. Pataas na yan. So, and yun nga, pataas na nga si CPG. Good job sa mga pumasok kay CPG. It's not yet too late. Um, Joey Rivero, thanks sir Lord, you're welcome. Femanuel Telin is asking about ISM. Just wait for the bounce kay ISM. Malapit na sa MA20. So, baka mag-bounce na yun sa IS, uh, MA20. That will be your entry point. Rodolfo Kia, TBGI, wait for the retracement lang. Um, Augusto Craig Karaig, SEC. Si SEC naman, still very good. Um, buy as long as the support holds for SEC. Alright. Magsa sideways pa yan siya. Gagawa na support yan. If that support holds, that's your entry point for SEC. Eliezer Lorin, may the bulls be ever in our favor. Yan. Sa ano yan, di ba? Sa yung palabas yun. Um, nawala na sa isip ko. <laughs> MPI, RCB, Sir Lloyd. Yan. Si MPI still definitely a buy. RCB naman. Si RCB, Yan, still a buy right here. Dito, dito yung sinrecommend ko yung RCB, di ba? Buy as long as the support holds and nag-hold naman yung support. So, buy lang dyan, it will go up, right? Bell po from Diesel per Pecardo. Bell naman, yan si Bell Chris, pababa pa eh. Bollinger Pan Trigger, alam natin yan, nag-trigger sa baba. So, iwas na muna kay Bell, right? Uh, and MRP, speaking of Bell, birthday ng agent ko ngayon na si Bell. Rhea Bell, good morning. Jovel, happy birthday. Jovel, Juan, Mer, and, ah, wala. Oops, nawala na naman. Sir EW and PNB po, hindi ko nakita ang, uh, hindi ko nakita ang, ano, um, pangalan. But EW, we are, uh, buy as long as the support holds for EW. This is a good sign for EW. Ito yung engulfing natin, nag-stabilize lang as the support. So, that's a good sign for support right there. So, buy as long as the support holds for EW. Yan yung gawin natin support if you want to. Right, kasi dyan naman yung last ng bagsak niya. So, EW, buy as long as that support holds. Uh, PNB ba yun or BPI? B PNB? Right, si PNB naman, kahit pula yan, umaakyat yan. So, that's still a good, that's still a good sign for PNB. Um, PNB is a buy. Buy as long as that support holds for PNB. Or you want to look for a retracement. Antay lang tayong retracement before getting in. But I think this is a reversal already. Let's check out Fibonacci from here to here. Ayan, 0.61. Ayan, malapit na siyang mag-break ng 0.61 niya. So, that's a good sign for uh, PNB actually. Um, okay, okay na siya. Uh, let's wait. Pag nag-break yan dito, that will be a reversal. Let's just wait for a retracement after, right? So, let's wait lang for a retracement for PNB. Um, Eli, thank you Idol for helping us to succeed from Jerry Herrera, you're welcome um, Nathan Oliver Tugs is my top picks today SSI po sir, Alvin Bernante SSI and bumabagal yung move ni SSI eh, but this is a retracement right here so pwede nyo pasukin yan si SSI I think maliit pa rin naman yung risk eh. medyo mataas na 
Alright. So, uh, we missed a bounce for SSI. Buy on dips lang kay SSI. Right? Pag nag-dip yan, back to its support right here, pwede nyo bilhin yan sa SSI. Uh, si EDC yan. Topic natin to kahapon, nag-sealing. Benta nyo na kung may EDC kayo. Hayaan nyo na sila. Sila na ang process nyo. But, but if may pera kayo kay EDC, uh, pwede nyo bilhin at 7.01 if gusto nyo. Kasi anyways, this is sure income na naman eh. If gusto nyo naman yung TO ni Life, malaki yung pera nyo, bilhin nyo yung mga nagbebenta 0.01. Kasi bibilhin naman yan ni, ano, ni EDC ulit yung stocks na 7.25. At least may 0.25 pa rin kayo ng gain per stock, ba diba? Sir Lloyd, but I will strongly recommend sell na lang. Eh. Benta nyo na lang yan. Uh, Sir Lloyd, APX po. We talked about APX already. Alvin John Torres, APX. APX, antay nyo yung bounce niya to get into M APX. Uh, Marian, uh, we talked about Bloom already. CPG, sir. Maricel Killar, Francisco, we talked about CPG already. GFC po, sir Lloyd. Thank you. From Danny. Okay. Uh, GFC is definitely a buy. Buy pa rin ako kay GFC. Kahit na bumababa buma yan. Napakaganda na impression yan. Gabriel, we'll talk about MBT. Gabriel, uh, MB, uh, De Guzman. Yan. Si MBT, Nagre-retrace eh. So, use a breakout strategy pa rin kay MBT. This is your support. Yung bumaba siya near support. That should be your buy already. So, let's use this support for MBT. Baka magtuloy-tuloy na yan sa si MBT. Baka yun na yung retracement niya. Nga pala guys, follow my page. Okay? Uh, thank you so much, Jim Serot, for subscribing. Yan. Follow my page. Lalabas yung pangalan niyo dyan. Wala na akong bosses. Um, it's 9.18 also. Um, last three questions lang guys. Okay? So, MPT. Yan. Uh, still good. Um... Uh, Vita and P Gold. Lawrence, ayan, let's talk about P Gold. Nasa recommendations ko si P Gold. And guys, si P Gold, sabi ko, nagbounce na si P Gold. That's your entry point and nagtuloy-tuloy na. Let's check out your risk. Maliit pa rin yung risk nyo kay P Gold. Pasukin nyo niya yan. This is on an uptrend stock, guys. This, an, this is an uptrend stock. So, pasukin nyo si P Gold kasi uptrend yan. And then, you, you can use MA20 as your support. The trend is your friend and this is it. Ah, wala na bosses. Uh, good morning, Sir F. Jen po. Uh, Bensky, we talked about uh, Vita already by as long as that support holds. Uh, Aiden Moncada, F. Jen naman. F. Jen. Right, Bensky, doon na lang natin sa meeting pag-usapan yung mga stocks mo. <laughs> right, uh, F. Jen naman, um, just wait for the bounce if you wanna get in F. Jen pag nag-bounce yan. That is already on a... Uh, F. Jen is already on a... On an uptrend, right? F. Jen. MRC VLL po, we talked about that. Dariel, Kalaw Galawan, Vita, SN, uh, eto lang, SHNG, Sheng, from Mary, Grace, Dakumos, HHNG. Ah. Yan, so HHNG, Shang Properties, uh, don't know the uh, fundamentals kay Shang, eh, so I can't really recommend it yet. Don't wanna recommend stocks na hindi ko alam fundamentals, but Shang, meron naman tayong support, but I think this is a very slow stock. Nap nagsa sideways lang yan for how many days. So, wag nyo na lang, wag nyo na lang tingnan si Shang. But if you really want to get in, um, buy at this support right here. Right? So, that's the support of Shang na pwede nyo pasukin. Uh, it's 9.20. Birthday ng tatay ko, sir, from Noel Payabyab. Yan. Good mo Happy birthday to the father of Noel Payabyab. Or po, ayan, last question natin, si ABS from Sam Salonga and uh, or from Noel Payabyab. ABS. Mikey, uh, Mikey Ko is also asking about or yan. ABS and grabe si ABS nasa top picks ko in the past uh, past weeks yan nag breakout na naman si ABS you can use a breakout strategy if you wanna get in ABS solid uptrend for ABS good job ABS ganda pa rin ng earnings nila eh. ba? Diba? so ABS still very good to get into and lastly si or yan si or past 2 days maganda yung bounce niya so Definitely, or buy as long as this support holds. We have a good bounce kay or already. And look at Bollinger Bands. It's telling us na magsa sideways nito. It's gonna be stabilizing. So this will be forming a solid support right here. So get in at that support for or. So alang hindi natin alam bakak magtuloy tuloy niyan. So habang maaga pa pasok na kay kay or. Um, yan. So that's it for today. Ah, uh, yung mga questions na hindi ko nabasa, pasensya na. Wala na akong boses, hindi ko na kaya. Uh, just send me a message sa chat room natin, join our chat room, okay? If you wanna help the channel, uh, there's a way on helping the channel without spending. 
create a coins.ph account. Kung wala pa king coins.ph account, there's a link na nakapin dyan sa comments ko. Um, coins, yeah, that's my coins.ph account. You can help the program without spending anything using uh, coins.ph. Also, there's a way to help the program by helping yourself invest in the workshop that I have. Um, meron akong workshop tonight, 8 p.m. The next, um, the next workshop will be next week, Sunday and uh, Saturday and Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning. If pwede kayo dyan, and if you wanna join my workshop, send me a message. Okay, you can help me and help yourself at the same time. Hindi mahalang workshop compared to the others. It's a very win-win situation for the program and you. Right, so you'll be whole, uh, whole helping the program also. May thumbs up dito kay. Fi uh, Fulin Mercenilio Tugo. Sige, last lang si Tugo. At si Tugo is by uh, as long as the support holds. Ayan, na si Tugo nagsa-stabilize na dyan. So, most probably Tugo is gonna go up uh, anytime soon. But nagsa-stabilize pa naman siya. If you wanna get in Tugo, that's your entry point right there. Uh, that's it for today. Today is a Friday. So, konting ingat lang. Usually, Friday is a profit-taking day. But I think kahapon na nangyari ang profit-taking day. So, uh, be very careful with your positions, okay? Uh, watch it. If you need to sell half, you can sell half. But if you're an investor, hayaan nyo na mga chupitero na yan. Babalik na naman kaagad yung original uptrend after the sell-off happens. Projection of PSE, I is gonna be more than, it's gonna break out 8,000 in within this year. So, if it breaks 8,000, dapat nakapasok na kayo sa mga blue chips na mga pinagsasabi natin habang maaga pa. Kasi napakaganda pa rin ang projection ng PSEI. With the GDP growth, it's not 6%, which is very good. It's lesser than the expected, pero it's still very good. So, napakaganda pa rin. Pumapasok na yung investors. Kahapon, bumagsak si PSEI, but investors are still the net foreign buying. Right, uh, net buy net buying pa rin tayo sa foreign for PSEI. So PSEI stay still invested. August month, I don't think it's gonna happen, but uh, just be safe with your positions. Pasok na kayo habang maaga pa. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you again next week, Monday, for another Daily Grind episode. Thank you to Trade Asia. And si to Trade Asia has been very generous. It's been helping this program because they believe in the vision also to increase that one percent of Filipinos joining the stock exchange thank you to trade asia please check them out at tradeasia.com that's it for today have a great day and as always let's get rich together bye guys so mga hindi ko nasagot please send me a message lang sa chat room natin doon ako magko-continue alright kasi wala na ako bosses i'll just chat with you bye guys